Hey, welcome back to Timber Tuesday. The other day we come out here and was gonna cut up this uh, uh, maple, red maple log, and we got a little bit of weather and we had to quit. Did get the mill cleaned up, a little bit the head cleaned up, but the mill's still pretty dirty. However, we're gonna finish sawing this up today and make sure that you wait till the end of this video, make sure you watch all the way to the end because we got something we're gonna do with that red oak that we cut up the first time. I want you to check that out. So we're looking at the end away from the sawmill at this widest point, it's just over 11 and a half inches. Uh, kind of tapers it down quite a bit. So it's 10 inches here. It's going back down to this end. So it's eight inches. Looks pretty nice, pretty white wood. So I made a rookie mistake, uh, nothing I can't correct yet. I flipped this thing over and the back is, is square to the, uh, the side, the side the back stops, but there's a uh, part of the log that's gonna jut off here. And what that's causing is the log to tilt up like this. So I need to pull the whole log down this way so I'm not wasting a lot of wood. All right, now I'm gonna cut three quarter inch boards off for the rest of the rest of the cut.
Hey, here's a surprise. You guys remember the first red oak we cut on the sawmill? Well, that log had been laying down for about two years, uh, and it was up in the air laying across other logs. So right now I have my moisture meter, and it's showing about 10.5%. I've got it set on density four, which tells me for red oak. It's showing 10.5. So we've checked it all over, somewhere, somewhere between nine and 11, depending on where, where it's at. Hey, I hope it was worth the wait. I think it is. This is red oak uh, that's, gosh, it's been sitting out in the woods for two years. Uh, there was definitely some gold in the center of this. This is beautiful. You will not find this kind of lumber at the uh, lumber yard unless you're paying some pretty, pretty high dollars. And we cut this on our sawmill and then we run it through our little Porter cable planer. Now I can tell already we're gonna need a little bit more planer for doing these kind of boards. And uh, you know, it did a good job, but uh, still we're gonna have to look at upgrading in the future to something more robust to handle this kind of stuff hey i really appreciate you watching our channel if you like what we do hit that thumbs up if you really like what we do hit the subscribe button and put the little bell icon notification push that little notification and let you know when we put out something new god bless and have a great day